All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to answer a question that was put to me. I think a lot of you will find interesting. Functional analyst job versus developer. So I'm going to read this in anonymity so we don't reveal his identity, although I don't think you'd mind. But anyway, let's jump in. Hi, Stefan. First of all, I want to thank you for your amazing content you create. Thank you for your generosity and absolute honest and unique material. I appreciate that. I try to help people out. That's the whole point of my YouTube channel. I'm trying to download my decades of experience into your brains. All right. The last month, I have been investing a lot in myself, learning Python, SQL, Tableau, originally coming from a consultant job in the hospitality sector. It was my curiosity for data science that led me to learn Python. Loving programming in Python a lot, I decided I wanted to learn more about software development and programming in Java. Updating my LinkedIn during my journey, I'm happy to say that my new skills didn't go unnoticed. I got several companies showing interest in my profile. After a few interviews, I learned recruiters are very often advertising, pushing me more in a functional analyst role. I have good social skills. Clearly, he writes well as, as well. Something I talk about all the time, developers always underestimate the power of communication skills, written, verbal. I learned recruiters are very often advertising, pushing me me more in a functional analyst role instead of the programming coder job I imagine for myself in the future. Since I am a complete noob in this world, I was wondering what would be your advice? Grab the opportunity with both hands, it is a well-paid opportunity, or keep on looking for a more programming focused job. The IT vocabulary is very new to me and confusing to me. My guess is that I am not the only one. Feel free to use this question as an example for one of your amazing YouTube videos. Oh, there you go. Okay. I was just reading, I hadn't read the whole email before doing this video. Anyhow, so short answer, it's your first job, grab the opportunity, especially if it's well paid. Why? Because then you're getting into the industry. Once you're in the industry, once you're on the inside, it's a lot easier to uh, migrate to different specializations if you want to continue onward to coding. I can see why they want to hire you because one of the most important jobs and one of the rare positions out there in the nerd world is somebody who can speak nerd, meaning you understand code and the backend systems, and someone who can speak human. So if you've got somebody who can speak nerd and human, they can put together the nerds and the clients together, and that creates the whole uh, thing. Uh, that Well, let me restate. That allows the project to move forward. So yes... Uh, analyst, people who can sit down with clients and communicate well and extract information from the client, very important. Again, one of the things I emphasize, and that's is the importance of communication skills. Think about it. If you're working in a team of developers, being able to get along with people, communicate with people, and not argue about Sony versus Xbox, PS5, excuse me, versus Xbox, uh, is very important. It's very important. Back to this guy, all joking aside, um, he obviously is being pushed as the functional analyst because he's somebody who can speak well and communicate well. Um, and you see that's his background. He's, he was in the hospitality sector. And uh, he understands the tech. So what I would do is I would take that job to get your foot into the industry. And I would learn your coding on the side. But who knows, man, if you are really good at uh, uh, working with clients, that could see your your uh, your career skyrocket where you don't necessarily get into full-time coding. You can do coding on the side. So yeah, short answer, do it for sure. Get your foot in the door. Experience is worth more than anything else. And you could always move later laterally if you want to get into pure coding at some point. But yeah, definitely get this job. Start making the money. No question about it. So if you happen to be one of those uh, developers out there who has skill but have a hard time getting a job everybody's different but a lot of times i found is because people just have lack uh, certain interpersonal skills perhaps communication skills and maybe they're uh, a little insecure about their own skill set so that's why for my mentoring program links below it's, it's kind of like uncle Steph's boot camp but uh it's with uncle Steph, so it's a totally different game so for my mentoring program i put together a course called Lizard Wizard. Silly title, seemingly, but it's actually a very profound title. The whole point of Lizard Wizard is to help you understand the two operating systems in your brain. You got your lizard brain, you got your higher brain. The lizard brain 
is extremely powerful, it governs your emotions, it will allow you to understand yourself and your own motivations and so other people's motivations and it will make you a better developer, believe it or not, because you will have this better emotional control and better communication skills. So check it out, Lizard Wizard. All right, um, that's it for now. Bye-bye.